Welcome to CProd. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dim your background in WordPress without using CSS. We're going to be using SeedProd, which is the best drag and drop WordPress website builder. So right here, I have a clean installation of WordPress. And the first thing we're going to do is use SeedProd. You can use the SeedProd Lite version if you like, but we want the pro versions to get the features with dimming the background. So we can head over to SeedProd.com and click on Get SeedProd Now. Select the account that makes the most sense for you. And once you have one set up, we can go ahead and click on Login. On the left-hand side, you can enter your email address, your password, Word and click on login. Once you're logged into your seed prod account, we're going to click on the second tab here called downloads. And let's go ahead and download the plugin by clicking the orange button here. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. We can click the little icon here to copy that to clipboard. You can go ahead and close this tab. Back in WordPress on the left hand side, we have plugins and then we can go to add new. Up top, we have upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on that. And we can actually drag this zip file from here and drop it. If you like, you can also click on choose file and select the zip file from your hard drive. Go ahead and click on install now and click on activate plugin. Great, let's go ahead and paste that license key that we copied earlier and we'll click on verify key. And you should see a green success message here on the top corner. Go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Great, let's open up the website here by going to seed prod and we'll hover over visit site and I'll open this in a new window. We can see the default website here. I actually want to create something quickly and easily by going to the theme builder feature under Cprod, and we have our theme template kits so let's go ahead and click here and Cprod comes with all of these pre-made websites that you can import instantly to create your own website so let's go ahead and select one here so for example we have online authored theme and i can see there's a background image here let's go ahead and use this i'll click the check mark here to import all of the theme files for our new website so here you can see our home page we have a sidebar footer header we have the global CSS for all of the styles of the website. We have a single page template post and blog index and archives and search. Now these are templates. They aren't individual pages. So for example, this single page template can be used on many different pages on the website. So this will define the style and the design of all of those pages. And then you can use conditions to set which ones those appear on. Great, so if we refresh, you'll see that it's not active yet. So what we need to do is just click this little toggle here, click okay and okay. And now you can see the theme has been enabled. We'll refresh and we should see this new website that you can completely customize however you wish. Let's go ahead and check out this background here. To get to that, let's come back. We wanna edit the home page. Let's click on edit design. And here you can see the seed prod page builder. So on the right hand side, you can see all of the different sections and the blocks and the rows and the columns. So you can see those are highlighted by the different colors when I hover over those sections. So here this section is the purple. And if I click on it, you can see on the left-hand side that it changes, it updates based on what options are available for that specific section. Same thing for example, for the block or for the column and sections, whatever you click on, you can see the little cog wheel here and click on that as well. So for the background, we have a background image here. Let's just delete this. And we can go ahead and use a different image. So this is the writing blog. So let's go ahead and I'll pick one, something simple here. Just this one's fine for now. And you can see that it's a little light. So you can see some of the boxes a little cut out. Maybe this is what you're going for. But on the bottom side here, when you click on the section, you can see dim background. Now you have the option to increase this. You can see that that increases all the way to 90% where it's almost completely blacked out. So if you just want it a little bit darker, we can go with something like this. And as well, you can also add an overlay color. So if I click here, you can select a color. You have your global themes that you can set in the global CSS. We have common colors that people will use. And then of course you can completely customize it with whatever color you want. So for example, we have a blue button here. So maybe we could go with a blue theme and that's a little bit too blue. Maybe you want it darker just a little bit of a tinge. And maybe you don't want it that dark. You can bring it down. You can completely customize how dark or light you want that. Let's go ahead, maybe somewhere around here. We'll go ahead and save this and we'll exit out. And if we refresh our page, you'll see our new background with that dim background. And there you go. That's how you can dim a background in WordPress without using any CSS whatsoever. There's no need to hire a coder. You can do it completely by yourself. Now that you know how to dim background images in WordPress without using CSS, check out these videos on how to create beautiful image galleries in WordPress or how to create animated text in WordPress, the super simple method. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.